there. I was just out hunting the wild vegan watermelon. Actually, I was just doing this video so I could show you how to make this really cool um, Katniss inspired shrug inspired from the new movie, The Hunger Games 2. And uh, it was really easy to make. In fact, I kind of made up the pattern as I went along. And I'm gonna show you how to do it too. Actually, I'm just gonna tell you because it's easy enough that I don't think I need to write a pattern. I'm not much of a pattern follower. I'm more of a free form person and that's why I really like crochet. So here's how to make this really cute one hold Katniss wrap. So one side is open, the other side you have an armhole. It's very easy. What you wanna do is start off by casting on I used 72 stitches. I uh, just chained 72 and then I joined it so I had a ring. Be careful not to twist your stitches. That's probably the only place you're gonna run into trouble. Then I did seven rows. So about from here to here, I have seven rows right about from here to here of just double crochet. That's treble crochet for those of you in the UK. And then um, what I did is I folded the piece in half and I put a stitch marker on each side, just like a contrasting color yarn or something like that. And then um, what I did was I worked back and forth. So when I was on this side, I started on the armhole side and um, so I chained two and I double crocheted all the way across. When I got to this side though, I didn't chain two. I just started double crocheting. So I worked in the third stitch from the edge. That automatically gave me a taper on this side. See, taper, very tricky, isn't it? But it works. And you're gonna do the same thing from the back side. So when you get to the bottom, you're gonna end up with, with a point. So then you do the exact same thing on the back side. Follow up my britches there. Um, hate new jeans, they never stay upright. <laughs> Um, so I did the same thing on the back side. So the two pieces were identical, all worked in one piece, and then I simply seamed up the side using a mattress stitch. Um, I did it on the wrong side. So you really can't see it because I'm pretty, um, I seem like a boss man. I'm pretty good at seaming and weaving it in, so I'm tricky, tricky, tricky. Uh, okay, so then for the cowl, which I actually had to, uh, to had to take out at one point because, um, because I kind of messed it up. Um, <laughs> so for the cowl here, I think you can see that pretty good now. Um, what I did was I used my circular needles and I think I started with like a size 11 and I picked up every other gap between my double crochets. So I ended up with about 36 stitches on there because I started out with 72. And then um, I knit for probably an inch and a half of the 11s. Then I switched to a 13 couple of rows of the 13s, then I went to a 15, and I used my Denise interchangeables, so um, it was really easy just to pop the ends off and pop the new ones on. You can knit onto other, other circular needles if you want. If you only have one size, I don't think it's that big of a deal. The last, uh, the third to the last row though, I knit one, then I did an increase, knit one, increase. And I did an increase where I, um, I knit in the front and the back loop of the stitch. I don't know if that's the best increase for this, but with this kind of tweedy uh, material, it didn't really matter. Oh, what I used for yarn, I used, um, I'm getting in real close here. Um, I used just one, st I used one strand of like a, plain acrylic yarn, which is kind of like, you know, your red heart or whatever. And it's a, just a four ply worsted weight. And the other one was a wool alpaca nylon blend, polyester blend too. So it was, it can be washable and, um, but it's super soft and it's really thick. If you look at the thickness of the fabric here, look how thick that is. But the, the fact that it's got the, the, that bias cut, that kind of, um, Asymmetrical design is very slimming, so you're basically wearing an afghan, but it's cozy and warm. So then for finishing, um, when you bind off your stitches, you want to make sure you use a, um, a loose bind off. And um, the best way to do that is to purl two together and then transfer that one stitch back onto your, good lord, left hand needle. <laughs> I gotta turn around here. So you do, do you purl. And then you, you purl two together. So you got one stitch on your right hand needle. Then you transfer that to your left hand needle, purl two together, transfer it back, purl two together all the way around. And when you get to the end, hope you can see that. When you get to the end, you simply um, just draw, cut the yarn and draw the loop through and weave in your ends. Um, that gives you a very nice, loose, um, stretchy cowl. Cause I bound it off originally the, the, the plain weight and it was too tight and it kept like pulling. It was gonna mess up my beautiful Katniss braid. Um, <laughs> whenever I put it on. So I decided we had to do a loose bind off for that. Um, and that's pretty much it. I did do a little blocking. The, uh, the, this part here, let me go back to a wide angle. This, uh, the body of the piece lays, drapes really nice anyway, but um, steam blocking does help. And what I did was um, I actually just laid it out on my washing machine, which is right in my bathroom when I took a shower. So the steam was getting to it anyway. But then I actually stretched out 
the bottom part of the cowl because I really wanted it loose and floppy. Now the one from the movie is actually woven and it has like a rope crocheted or woven into the neck hole and some of the other patterns I found had that had that rope in there and it looked really cool and dystopian and fabulous but I'm not wearing a ring of rope around my neck. It would not be comfortable. You put a coat on, you try to drive, you do anything, it's just gonna be flopping around there and uncomfortable. So I decided not to do that method. Um, so that's pretty much it. That's how you make the lovely Katniss cowl inspired by the movie, The Hunger Games 2. So I am totally wearing this next year when I go see the movie, because I've already been to the premiere and I wasn't cool enough to have this done beforehand. In fact, I saw this for the first time um, in the movie and you can kind of slutch it to one side or to the other. Um, it's fabulous and um, slimming and I hope you try it because it's so much fun. I wanna thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, just leave a comment comment in the uh, comment section and I will get back to you um, if you have any suggestions go ahead offer those up too and um, I will try to write this out in pattern format under the video so that can uh, help you out as well and um, as always if you like this video thumbs up and subscribe and until next time happy crafting